please, please, please. How many cups have you had this morning? None. Plus? Five, but yours is better. You have a problem. Yes, I do. Junkie. Angel, you've got wings, baby. Oops. I already had the longest day of my life, and oh, look, it's only 10. How nice. There's no coffee. That's not funny. I can give you herbal tea. This is not an herbal tea morning. This is a coffee morning. Every morning for you is a coffee morning. This is a jumbo coffee morning. I need coffee and an IV. I can give you tea and a balance bar. Please, please, please tell me you're kidding. I'm kidding. You're sick. Yep. You're a sadist. You're a fiend. You're pretty. Well, here to go. To go, please. You want to know what this stuff does to your central nervous system? Ooh, do you have a chart? Because I love charts. Forget it. Kill yourself. So what happened this morning that was so awful? Rory started Chilton. Really? Yeah. What? That's how you dress to take Rory to Chilton? No, but... I mean, that's a fancy school. My clothes were at the cleaners, and I had the fuzzy clock, and it didn't purr on time. It didn't purr? It's fuzzy. It purrs. You know what? Never mind. I gotta go. I had a plan, damn it. Me too. Next time you're getting tea. What's good? Hey, I'm Lorelei. I'll be here every morning. Okay, see you guys tomorrow. Here we go. Three coffees. Oh, oh, no, I'm sorry, I only ordered one. You said coffee, coffee, coffee. <laughs> no, see, I said coffee, coffee, coffee. Right. As in, I really need coffee, coffee, coffee. You know? No. Coffee, coffee, coffee is a saying, like an exaggeration. It's a funny, desperate cry for caffeine. It's just my thing, <laughs> because everybody knows I drink a lot of coffee, so the day can't start until I've had my jolt. It's a bit, it's my bit. It's not a particularly funny bit unless you know me. Then, you know what? Three coffees would be great. What do I owe you? Wow, did you see that? You know, if someone opened a store in this town selling giant butterfly nets, they'd make a fortune. Come on, the crazy need love, too. Speaking of which, mm. welcome back. Nice to be here. Want some coffee? <sighs> Say that again slower and with your pants off. What's that? My pretty, pretty face. It's a Weston's coffee cup. Is it? You bring an enemy coffee cup in here on the day of our reconciliation. Well, at least I didn't ask you for a favor on this, the day of your daughter's wedding. Get that coffee out of here. This is not coffee. This is a mocha chocolate caramel swirlachino with extra whipped cream. That sounds disgusting. It is, and if it was physically possible to make love to a hot beverage, this would be the one. So apparently, I've got competition. No, 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 it's just a fling. I'll finally spend the night with it, but then when I see it in the morning with the caramel unswirled and the whipped cream unwhipped, <laughs> bye bye Man, that was hard. She must have stretched first. I was almost crushed by a paper mache star. How's your day? Well, it's looking pretty good now. Coffee, please, and a shot of cynicism. So, why so cheery? I don't know. I'm just in a mood. I don't know why. But there's no particular reason for this, man? No. You don't believe me? No, I believe you. You say there's no reason for the mood, then there's no reason for the mood. Simply nuts. Or bipolar. That's very big nowadays. No, no, Patty, you're wrong. They built the fire to throw themselves on it when their families found them. Tilly, you're crazy. They built the fire so they could stay warm their first night here. Patty, I am the recording secretary for the Stars Hollow City <sighs> Council. I think I know how my town was founded. Ugh, can nobody talk about anything else but this stupid festival? That came out a lot louder than it was supposed to, didn't it? Yep. Yep. What are you doing? I need coffee. It's five in the morning. Make coffee at your own house. I did. I drank it all. You drank all the coffee in your house before five in the morning? Big gulps, lots of sugar. All right, get up. <laughs> and just a little bit of cream because it makes it cold. Keep moving. Oh, I, I can't sleep. I can't turn my mind off. It keeps running and thinking and making lists. Yeah, well, maybe if you drank a little less coffee, you'd make a little less lists. Oh, I can't stop drinking the coffee. I stopped drinking the coffee. I stopped doing the standing and the walking and the words putting into sentence doing. I'll make you some coffee. Oh, if I could move, I would hug you. In fact, in my mind, I am hugging you. And also, I'm telling the plumbers that there's no water pressure in rooms 10, 12, and 15. I'm making you some oatmeal. I don't like oatmeal. You've got to eat something healthy. Oh, man, I'm so completely stressed. I can't remember what I'm doing from one moment to the next. It's never going to get done. It will get done. No, it won't get done. And then the inn won't open, and then I'll go broke. How do you do it? Do what? Go broke? No, run this place. Handle all the stress. The place isn't stressful. It's not? Well, actually, at this moment, it is a little. <sighs> Warmth. 
What are you doing? The icicle foot. It's the latest dance craze. All the hep kids are doing it. Your shoe's all wet. Oh, this evil puddle was lying in wait. Evil, evil! All right, let me uh, get you a towel. I forgot the foot. I need caffeine. Whatever form you've got, I haven't had any all day. I'll drink it, shoot it, eat it, snort it, whatever form it's in, gimme. Should I bother to ask how your day's going? Oh, terrific. My shoe was in ice school, the end's driveway snowed in, and we lost the gold farbs. Who are the gold farbs? The two guests who bothered to show up. I sent them skiing and I killed them. You killed your guests? Yeah, well, you know what happens. Here. <sighs> the only bright side of my day is being asked to be a prostitute. That's something to cling to. Mm. <gasps> oh, hot. Warn me. Coffee's hot? Sorry, coffee's hot. We're closed. I know. Look, I didn't come here to make up or to try to get you to forgive me or talk. I wouldn't even have come here at all, but I had a really crappy night and I really, really need a cup of coffee. But just pretend I'm not me. I'm Mimi, new customer. I've never been in here before. I was just walking down the street and I, I spotted this place. Oh, hey, nice place. And I came in. Now Mimi is going to pour herself a cup of coffee and sit over here way far away from you and she promises just as soon as she's done she will rinse out her own cup and leave i'm going to propose something here i'm not sure how you're going to take it oh wow intrigue i'd like to see you sometime away from the ivy away from the gargoyles away from here are you asking me out on a date? Yes. Mm. Well, uh, I don't want to go out on a limb here, but I'm guessing if the headmaster won't let a kid be 30 seconds late for a test, he'd probably frown on a teacher dating a mom. I do my job well. I'm dedicated to my students, and there's nothing in the Chilton Book of Ethics that prohibits it. Yeah, but I'm guessing it's sort of an unwritten rule. Do you want to go? And Rory would probably freak at the thought. Do you want to go? The other parents would have a field day with this kind of thing. Do you want to go? Yes. Good. Wait. What? No. Why? I can't. It's wrong. It's weird. I'll pay. You're on. Really? <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know. You're Rory's teacher. I know. <sighs> Could you quit? Right, that's crazy. I'm sorry. OK, OK. Um, how about coffee? You like coffee? Only with my oxygen. Can we drink some together? Yeah, a sort of pre-date. Very casual, no strings, no obligations. We'll just see if it's even worth going down the road of including food in the deal. 